New York City, the largest and most densely populated city in the United States, is famously known as the Big Apple. This vibrant metropolis is divided into five distinct boroughs, Manhattan, the Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island, and Queens. As the headquarters of the United Nations and a hub for business, culture, entertainment, and fashion, New York has earned the moniker, the city that never sleeps. New York City is home to many world-renowned figures such as physicists Richard Feynman and Robert Oppenheimer, comedians Eddie Murphy and Adam Sandler, and musical artists Christina Aguilera and Lady Gaga. This city's status as a major global business center makes it a favored destination for expatriates and a fashion capital with approximately 900 fashion companies headquartered here. The city is also famous for its iconic Statue of Liberty and its world-class museums. Beyond arts and culture, New York houses the largest gold repository in the world at the Federal Reserve Bank, with over 7,000 tons of gold bullion stored there. It's also a culinary paradise, boasting nine restaurants featured in Restaurant Magazine's list of the world's top 100 restaurants. With all these attractions, New York stands as one of the world's favorite tourist destinations. However, behind the glitz and the myriad opportunities lies a city where living and surviving can be incredibly challenging. Despite being a land of opportunities, New York also has a darker side often obscured by its bustling life. One of the most pressing issues is the homelessness crisis and the existence of slum areas that highlight the city's stark societal inequalities. Imagine that in 2013, more than 60,000 people were spending each night in New York City shelters, including 22,000 children. This sobering reality underscores the significant social challenges that persist amidst the city's gleaming skyscrapers and vibrant streets. This situation highlights a severe homelessness crisis, driven by a tapestry of factors such as poverty, mental health issues, drug addiction, and the lack of robust housing assistance initiatives from local governments. The homeless can be found in various public places, from subway staircases to inside train carriages. This is certainly startling considering the city's advancements and its reputation as the capital of the world or the city that never sleeps. The COVID-19 pandemic has only exacerbated this crisis. Many assistance programs were halted while housing costs skyrocketed, leaving many unable to pay rent and forcing them onto the streets. As of January 2023, around 650,000 Americans were experiencing homelessness, with more than 90,000 in New York alone. One extreme example of poverty and neglect in New York is an area known as The Hole. This small five-block section on the Brooklyn-Queens border is often regarded as one of the city's worst slums. The Hole is about nine meters lower than the surrounding areas, leading to severe flooding and making many streets impassable. This labyrinth is riddled with pests and wild animals and is infamous for its highly polluted water, air, and soil. During its heyday from the 1970s to the 1990s, the hole was a dumping ground for the New York City Mafia, with several bodies found buried in its desolate plots. Most streets in the hole are unpaved and frequently resemble rivers, adding to the intricate web of challenges its residents face. The inhabitants live in extreme poverty, many with no income at all. This enigmatic place also serves as a hideout for fugitives, making it one of the easiest places to disappear. When New York City hosted the high-level meetings of the United Nations General Assembly last year, city officials found themselves scrambling to clear homeless individuals from the sidewalks around the venue. This move highlights a harsher reality. The city's architecture often reflects a profound disregard for those without homes. This design approach is frequently dubbed anti-homeless architecture. 
Anti-homeless architecture involves creating public spaces that intentionally deter the homeless and other vulnerable groups from resting or finding shelter. Examples include benches with dividers that prevent lying down, spikes or large rocks placed under bridges or in building corners, and uncomfortable seating in city parks. These design elements are meant to discourage loitering and sleeping in public spaces. Initially, the goal of such designs was to enhance city safety and reduce crime rates. However, defensive architecture has instead made the city increasingly inhospitable to its residents. This discriminatory design approach not only neglects the homeless, who need protection and assistance from the government, but also impacts a wide array of people. Mothers struggle to find rest areas while traveling through the city, Children cannot play freely in public spaces. The elderly have difficulty finding places to sit, and disabled individuals face significant challenges navigating obstacle-ridden sidewalks. Unfriendly architecture sends a clear message. To feel comfortable in the city, one must pay. This forces residents to rely on private transportation like cars, spend money in cafes or malls just to sit, or even pay small fees to use public restrooms. The broader implications are significant, indicating a city that prioritizes commercial interests over the basic needs of its most vulnerable citizens. This hostile design approach reflects a deep-seated indifference to social welfare, further burdening already vulnerable groups. It underscores that the solutions aimed at addressing homelessness are more focused on appearance and a facade of security rather than tackling the root causes of the problem. New York City, often dubbed the City of Scams, is notorious for the myriad types of fraud rampant on its streets, from tourist traps to investment schemes involving millions of dollars. Tourists frequently become easy targets for scammers who exploit their unfamiliarity and lack of vigilance. One common scam involves counterfeit perfume, where sellers entice tourists with cheap prices, but the products turn out to be fake and potentially harmful. In bustling areas like Times Square, street performers dressed as popular movie or Disney characters often aggressively demand payment after posing for photos with tourists. In some extreme cases, they even hold tourists' phones or children hostage until they get paid. Another prevalent scam is the CD hustle, where scammers hand out CDs claiming they contain free music, but then demand a donation once the CD is in the tourist's hands. Fake ticket scams are also widespread, particularly for Broadway shows or famous museums. Tourists are advised to always purchase tickets from official vendors or directly from the venue to avoid being swindled. ATM skimming is another significant issue, where criminals install devices on ATMs to steal card information. New York is also infamous for large-scale investment frauds. Both tourists and residents need to stay vigilant against various scams and deceptive tactics that could lead to significant financial loss. Equally alarming in New York is the high prevalence of drug use. In 2016, more than 1,370 New Yorkers died from heroin overdoses, highlighting the severity of the city's drug crisis. The proliferation of drugs poses a grave danger, exacerbating the challenges faced by the city's vulnerable populations and contributing to the cycle of homelessness and poverty. In addition to heroin, synthetic marijuana known as K2 has also reached epidemic levels in the South Bronx. Many young people fall victim to K2, with addicts often found collapsed on sidewalks after consuming the drug. The South Bronx holds the grim distinction of having the highest drug-related death rate in New York City. This area has become a haven for drug addicts, particularly those using heroin and opioid-based drugs like K2. Strolling through the streets and parks of the South Bronx, it's common to encounter addicts openly using drugs, despite the constant cat and mouse game with the police. This starkly highlights the depth of New York's drug problem, with the South Bronx serving as the epicenter of this crisis. 
The challenge of combating drug abuse in the United States has grown more complex with the emergence of a new drug known as zombie drug or xylazine in 2023. Xylazine, a powerful animal tranquilizer, is highly addictive and was confirmed as the cause of the first known death in Europe. It continues to spread across various American cities, often mixed with street fentanyl. This combination makes the opioid even more lethal. Another notorious area is Brownsville in Brooklyn, the birthplace of the Wu Gang. In Brownsville, gang violence and murders are commonplace. The neighborhood is plagued by high crime rates, making it one of the most dangerous parts of New York City. Public transportation in New York, particularly the subway system, has also become a hotspot for violence. Incidents of violence are reported almost daily. One contributing factor is the judicial system's practice of releasing violent offenders without bail. Even when prosecutors request high bail, offenders often return to the streets on minimal or no bail, perpetuating a cycle of violence that is difficult to break. These disturbing realities paint a sobering picture of New York City's underbelly. While the city is renowned for its vibrancy and cultural richness, it is also a place where stark social challenges persist. From the rampant drug use in the South Bronx to the gang violence in Brownsville and the daily reports of subway violence, the city's struggles are as pronounced as its successes. That's wrap our video today. See you in the next one.